Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to import your presets into Adobe Lightroom CC as well as Classic CC and also get them synced over to your phone. Say you purchase presets online or your friends share presets with you. How do you get them into Lightroom? Super easy, let me show you because now that Lightroom has updated if you have 7.5 or later it is so easy. Go to your develop module. Over here, you can see I already have my Fro pack right here, but you click on this plus sign where presets are. You hit import. You find them in your download folder or on your desktop, wherever you put it. And in this case, I've got my Fro presets right here. I would select all these. I would go ahead and hit import, and then they would be right here in Lightroom. Now, you may need to reset Lightroom. I like to tell you to reset Lightroom anyway, like fully close it down and then open it back up. And then all of your presets are gonna be under uh, something called user presets. And I just went ahead and made my own thing called FroPack so that they were nice and organized. So say you're using Lightroom CC, super confusing names. You've got CC and classic CC, but the CC one is the lighter one that syncs with mobile. This one's actually pretty cool. So as you can see right here, I've got a DNG selected. Now I go over to this area, I click presets, and my presets are right here in Fro Pack 1. But to add them, you just click the three dots, you click import presets, just like we did right before. You import them right here into Lightroom CC, and then you can sync it right over to your phone. Adobe's made it super easy to get your presets onto your computer uh, and, and into your software and onto your phone. Now I kind of want to show you a little bit how you can tweak presets and resave them and then share them with your friends because if you create something cool and you want to share it with a friend, it's really easy to do that. So right here in Lightroom, let's say we wanted to turn this setting into a preset. All I would do is go hit the plus sign and hit create preset. I would name it. I would say user preset or whatever, wherever I want to put it. I can select any of the settings that I want and then I would just hit create and you would create a new preset. And then in order to send that to somebody, you can right click on a preset and you can go show in finder. And then right here is the one that I'm on right now. This one would be considered acid wash. You can send this to a friend. You can just click on the XMP file, email it, send it to them, all they need to do is follow the directions that I just did and import it, and now you just shared a preset with your friends. Now turning back to the computer, you can see over here, I've got the Fro Pack saved. And if you didn't already know, Steven and I created 14 custom Lightroom presets that we call Fro Pack 1. You can go over to fronosphoto.com slash presets to check them out right now. They're 40% off. So you can see this. We've got sliders on the page that you can play with so that you can see the before and the after and what's gonna happen when you use any of of the presets that we have. So right now, they're on sale for 40% off. Go over there and take advantage of it. But let me let me run through some of these over here. So as you can see, I've got this image. This is before. This is before my black and white Boomify. And then boom, that's black and white Boomify. Let me tell you about black and white Boomify real quick. Black and white Boomify is my style of editing. It's more than just putting contrast up to 100%. It's not at 100, it's actually at 96. But there's a lot more that goes into that. This is my style that I've been editing in since college. A lot of people wanted me to bottle it up and sell it. Well, here we're doing it and we're including other things, especially great ones that Steven went ahead and created. Let me show you some of the ones that Steven created. Right here, let's go to Sandlot. Sandlot is super cool. So check this out. Here's your before, there's your after. Gives you that vintage feel of it. Before, after, just showing you that factory. This one's cool, like I love the He-Man one. Check out what happens with one click with He-Man. Uh. And I did say with one click because interestingly, if your exposures are perfect and you can do the one click and it looks good, it's gonna work. That's the cool thing. But what I love about the presets is they give you a great starting point as well as save you a ton of time because my black and white Boomify saves me a ton of time because if I want my images to go black and white, 
I give myself a starting point with my black and white Boomify and then go from there. Check out, check out this one right here. It's really crazy what, what happens with this guy. That's with this preset loaded. It may not work for everything, but it's actually a really interesting one, this one called Sandlot. It gives it kind of that vintage 1940s, 1950s kind of feel. Uh, Waffle House is another interesting one. Check out what happens with the before and after. Okay, so that's the before with this concert shot, and that's the after with Waffle House. It gives you a really cool feel to an image. Same thing right here with my buddy Hudson Thames. That's the basic unedited, and then boom, it gives you a cool vintage feel. You can play with these all over on the website, guys. Another one that is like anti the way that I like to edit is called Kensington. But I say anti because you know I love contrast and I don't generally like that faded look. But Steven created Kensington and it still carries contrast all while giving you a, a subtle, like just kind of like a faded, muted type image, but still looks really good. So there's two types of Kensington. There's Kensington with grain, and there's Kensington with no grain. What you'll notice is that we do have 14 presets, but there's actually 19 that you get. We weren't gonna market it as 19 because, well, some of them are with vignette and without vignette, or with grain and without. So if you don't like grain with Kensington, just use the one that just says Kensington, without the grain. Uh, what other cool ones do we have here? to show you real quick. This is always an interesting one with Kensington to see what happens right there. That's Kensington with grain, and then we've got Kensington with no grain. I personally like the one with no grain myself. That's how I like it. Uh, we've got Cookies and Cream, Faded Glory, Aquamarine, Uni oh, Skittles, oh, Skittles. Check out what Skittles does. Like, you ready? Boom. Or you've got something like this, boom. Now, I know this is more salesy, but I gave you the information at the beginning. We are offering these presets for sale right now at fronosphoto.com slash presets. They are 40% off. And just know that when you purchase these, they help us continue to make the free content. We don't get paid to make reviews. Reviews take a ton of time to do. All of the videos we create take a lot of time. And that's why this helps support us. Even if you can't purchase it, Share it with a friend, share it out with the world. That can help us too. But if you do feel like you wanna try our presets out, go to fronosphoto.com slash presets. Go ahead, purchase them right now while they're on sale. And I think you'll really like them. That's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much for your continued support. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.